Hey, this is Johnny Bluegrass here with the Red River Underground. We're gonna do a top 10 edition of the best overlooks in the gorge. These locations, if you can see them, they are by far the most breathtaking and inspiring places in the entire gorge. So uh, we hope you enjoy uh, Red River Underground's top 10 edition of Overlooks of the Gorge. To start off our countdown, number 10 is Cloud Splitter Overlook. And this one is very hidden, hard to find. You travel up through the meadow on an obscure trail and find this beautiful overlook over this huge valley and you can see the cloud splitter rock formation in the background. It's striking and definitely worth a visit. All right, coming in at number nine, Jennifer's Overlook. Uh, you get to it uh, by the Tar Ridge East Trail. Um, it's in one of our videos, which we'll link to it. Uh, there's four overlooks on that trail, but the last one is the best. It uh, encompasses a good section of the gorge. Uh, a lot of climbers are there, so you can actually see people climbing and repelling. So it's a must-see of uh, you know, any visitor to the gorge. All right, uh, number eight is the observatory. Uh, the observatory is on top of Double Arch. Take this little staircase to the right of Double Arch. Uh, come up to a big mound. It's a very large rock that has uh, a great vista that overlooks uh, Courthouse Rock and Oxeter Ridge to the other side. On a starry night at the observatory, it's great to bring up a chair, sit up there, and stargaze. Go check it out, the observatory. Number seven, Raven's Rock Overlook and Raven's Rock. A grand view from several angles. There's several separate overlooks in the area. To get on top of Raven's Rock itself, it's not terribly technical, and there's a road that leads there. People camp there. Definitely worth checking out. All right, guys, coming in at number six, Jailhouse Rock. This is a really great overlook. Uh, you get to it uh, on the Auxier Ridge Loop, uh, which is over on the, uh, the gravel road section as you're heading to Double Arch. As you make your way along the trail, you come out on this small ledge and uh, you're kind of cast out in the gorge a little bit uh, and you can just see a great panoramic view. It's great, highly recommended. You're definitely not going to want to get bailed out at that point. All right, coming in at number five, we got Chimney Top Rock and Half Moon Arch. We combine these two because they're essentially right next to each other. As you can see right behind me is Chimney Top Rock. These overlooks are some of the most spectacular in the entire gorge. They pretty much are centered right in the in the middle of the gorge. So they have all these different landmarks that you can see from them. You can see Hanson's Point. The Red River runs right underneath uh, Chimney Top Rock. There's a lot of fantastic arches that are nearby like Princess Arch, Cherokee Arch, Friendship Arch. Uh, so this whole area over here is a great place to explore. These two vistas are some of the best in the gorge. Splitting clouds. It's gonna be badass, y'all. This is the actual cloud splitter formation. It's one of the first places in the gorge we chose to film because of its magnificence. One of the best overlooks. Not only that, it has caves and it's got a little rope climb. It's one of the jewels of the gorge. Just totally check it out. All right, guys, the countdown's winding down. We're coming in at number three. It is the Augsir Ridge Overlook. The section that we're talking about is uh, where the Haystack Rock uh, Vista is, where you can have Haystack Rock, Double Arch, and Courthouse Rock. That is a great vista. It's a vast overview, and you can see three great features of that hike. The hike itself is, uh, is a large loop. Um, highly recommend it, but that overlook right there is definitely top three in the course. Coming in at number two, Hanson's Point. Hanson's Point is one of the best overlooks in the entire gorge. It's got a very long, slender pathway, a big, bald slab of rock that you have to go all the way out uh, to. Once you get to the point, uh, you can look around and see uh, Pincham Tight Gap. You can see Chimney Top Rock on the other side with Half Moon. Uh, near that area, there's the Ledford Arches. There's a lot of great camping, so uh, get to the point. Here we are at number one on our countdown of the top overlooks at Red River Gorge. Number one is Eagle Point Buttress. It's the undisputed, most amazing at the gorge. Uh, once you get up there, your view is this bend in the river of the Red River, and there's rock formations surrounding you, and you're hundreds of feet up. Near the main overlook, you can, you can go under through a rather dangerous crevice to what's called the Eagle's Nest. 
which uh, you should not attempt without proper equipment. The area also has waterfalls and caves to explore. There's a lot of reasons to visit. It's a popular place for climbing and rappelling and such. There's a lot of reasons to come check out Eagle Point Buttress, so uh, all in all, I suggest you haul ass to the buttress right away. All right, guys, that was Red River Underground's top 10 best overlooks of the gorge. Let us know in the comment section your all's top 10. If you agree with us, if you want to add another one in there, we can go and review it later. So as of that, we'll uh, catch you all next time.